Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Call My Business. In this time of the episode, I want to talk about how to use the call box on Call My App. When you download the Call My App on Play Store or App Store, um, this is the video on how to use call box. So when you click on it, you click on call box. Now, this is applicable for both registered users and people that come in as a guest. If you come in as a guest, awesome. If you register, beautiful. But advantage of being registered is uh, per adventure there's um, glitches or there's a little challenge. We can easily trace the transaction to you. So it's advisable you register. So per adventure you want to send a document from one point to another, a food item, a whatever it is. So you click on document. So simple, sender info. You add the sender information. For example, let me pick a random address. And you can just pick an address. You can choose to like, okay, I'm sending from Paraventure. Let me use Kano as an example. I'm sending from Sabon Gary. Um, Sabon Gary. Kano. Okay. So I'm going to Kano. This is where the sender is um is sending it from where we're picking the item from. You understand? So it's such that sorry my internet is quite low for now. So pick this. Now you put the information. Let's say from example is um Niger Road. No. Then you have maybe the house address if there is the floor number two there is then possibly the person's phone number so because the registered user it pick your default name and user but you can change these numbers then you click on continue and it goes to uh, whoever is receiving the item you're sending to for example i'm sending it to somebody around um, Sharada. Let's say I'll show that from example, and then uh, we fly there. Then the street, I don't know, and uh, possibly if not that, you put the person's name, and um, maybe the person's name is manager, and they put the person's phone number. You understand? And um, you allow the platform to do the calculation of the distance. And the cost between uh, Sabongiri to Sharada, this is what it cost. Then, um, if you are willing to tip the driver, you can put custom amount or a default amount. Then you can save for later. Then, um, for example, you can decide to make payments from your wallet if your wallet is funded. That is for those that have an account with Komi. If you don't do that, then you can go to your bank and ATM platform to make payment so when you do that uh, you are ready to go uh, it's loading it's loading it's loading to make all the necessary payment then when the payment is made transaction is done then we we'll proceed to the next stage which is receiving your item from a passenger or a driver sorry So, so this is it. Um, making payment, and after making payment using any of the simple following, then there's a notification that will be sent to you that you have an order in process. So I hope this helped. Thank you and um, see you in the next video.